Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for this problem: spanning tree with maximum degree, taken from D3, and it is uh, it was an F1 problem rated 1600 in D3 uh, challenge on code forces. So the problem is very simple. You are given a uh, unweighted, undirected connected graph, and with n number of vertices and m number of edges it is guaranteed that there are no self loops or multiple edges so no node is connected to itself or in, uh, between two different node there is at max one edge so you have to print uh, since it is a graph and since it is unweighted graph so uh, there can be many spanning trees you have to print the spanning tree which is having the maximum degree over all of the vertices so basically you have to print a spanning tree in which uh, which maximizes the degree of a node so if we take the example this is the input example eight nodes with nine number of edges and these are the edges one is connected to two two is connected three, uh, to three and so on this is the graph of that uh, this is graphical uh, representation of this input so you can see this is a graph and there can be more than one spanning tree but we have to print the spanning tree which is having the maximum degree in which uh, the node is having a max maximum degree so first thing to observe is that uh, in the spanning tree since spanning tree is derived from the same graph uh, without adding extra edges so spanning tree would have the maximum degree uh, at max that which is highest uh, so if the highest degree in the graph is m then spanning tree, uh, spanning tree cannot have more uh, highest degree more than m so in the graph you can see this and this two and five nodes are having maximum degree which is four one two three four since these are connected to four different nodes so the degree of two and five both are four so the maximum degree is four so you can derive a maxim uh, a spanning tree in which the maximum degree is four you cannot derive a spanning tree in which the maximum degree is more than four because uh, for that you have to add edges but spanning tree doesn't add edges so what we are going to do to solve this problem first think on your own that how you are going to solve this problem now we are going to solve this problem uh, what we are going to uh, do is count the degree of each node and we would start solving from the node which is having the highest degree so in our graph 2 and 5 are having the highest degree so suppose we choose node 2 it doesn't matter whether you choose 2 or 5 it really doesn't matter so the maximum degree in the spanning tree, uh, spanning tree can be ma uh, as large as this or as large as 4 so we are going to take node 2 and add all of the edges of node 2 so that the maximum degree of spanning tree would be 4 or you have to find the highest degree node and then we would add all of the edges of that node after that from the remaining uh, edges what we can do this is one of the solution but we would not use this solution so we have added all these four edges now the remaining are these these this and this okay so two to four and five there are five more edges so each time uh, before adding these edges we would see whether we can add this or not if this edge makes a cycle then we cannot add it because spanning tree doesn't contain a cycle that's why that is a tree so one six won't make a cycle because till now we have only these edges so we can add one six but six five would now add a cycle because this this and this edges are already ad added so this would make a cycle so if a no oh, sorry if a an edge makes a cycle then you cannot add it so to check whether uh, adding this edge would make a cycle or not we have to check it efficiently and you can do this by using dsu or disjoint set union so each time before adding the extra edges you would see whether uh, these two nodes are already connected or not so six and five yes they are already connected so you can't add this five and eight uh, are these nodes connected the answer is no because the uh, current added edges are only this 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 and this so there is no edge from five to eight so we can add this 
you can use this solution using uh, DSU but we are going to solve this using BFS which is much more simple approach both by uh, sorry both by implementation wise as well as uh, complexity wise so what we are going to do we are going to find the highest degree node and we are going to start BFS from that point so you know how BFS work you you make a queue and insert the source node source node is 2 so we inserted 2 now what we do we take the the first node in the queue and see all of the nodes which are directly connected to this node and are not visited so from 2 2 is the only visited node now because it is added into queue so from 2 1 5 3 and 7 are there which are not visited so what we can do we can make uh, we can insert those in queue and uh, print all of the edges now if they are not visited which means that that uh, they are not connected or uh, they are not connected in the spanning tree or basically this edge needs to be added uh, so what we would do since 1 5 3 and 7 were not visited so we made uh, we added these edges since one is not visited so I would insert one into the queue and also I would print two one two one indicating this edge needs to be added in our uh, in our spanning tree so I've in uh, in output one two you can print uh, one two or two one it doesn't matter uh, in that essentially list next node was five so we we see that five was not visited so we inserted it into queue and we also printed five two 3 was not visited so we inserted it into queue and printed 2 3 or 3 2 doesn't matter 7 was not visited so we inserted it into queue and uh, printed 2 7 or uh, whenever you are inserting anything you remember we mark them as visited so now 1 5 3 and 7 are visited indicating that these are now part of of MST uh, spanning tree not MST only spanning tree now uh, work of two is done so now we will take the next element which is at uh, which is uh, at, at the starting of queue which is one so we took one now in the adjacency list of one there is two and six but two is already visited so we can't add it so we won't add two but six is not vi visited so we would insert six into the queue and also print one six now the next node is five we would remove 5 and then in that essential list of 5 there is 6 which is visited so you can't add it 4 which is not visited so you, you would add 4 and 8 which is not vid visited so you would add 4 and 8 so we inserted 8 and 4 and we also printed 5 4 and 5 8 these edges finally this is actually a sp uh, spanning tree because if you add this edge it would make a cycle if you add this edge it would make a cycle so this is a spanning tree now you would remove 3 uh, you would remove 3 and see in the adjacency list of three there is two and four but both of them are visited so you won't add anything and two would be removed uh, sorry three would be removed so uh, same would happen for seven six eight and four so this is how you solve this problem let me show you by code and let me show you the problem this is a problem so this was f1 from div3 so let's code so there are there are as large as 2 into 10 power 5 number of nodes so we are going to take an adjacency list of vector in ar of 10 power 5 we also need visited array now in in the main function just a second let me create some space and also increase the font size now we need n m number of nodes number of edges a and b and max degree is equals to zero initially max node initially minus one doesn't matter so we read n and m number of nodes number of edges after that uh, we need to read number of yeah Doesn't matter while I'm minus minus a b in the adjacency list of a we would insert b uh, 
uh, in the adjacent, adjacency list of B, we would insert uh, A. So now this is adjacency list representation of of graph. I have already explained this in graph theory course series, which is a playlist. If you have no idea what is this, just go and watch, uh, check out the lectures in graph theory series lectures. Now, after we have read all the edges, all we have to do is find the node with the maximum degree. So we run loop from node 1 to n. And if degree of n, how you can check the degree? Simply check the adjacency list size of ith node is greater than max degree then max degree is equals to ith node size and a max node is equals to node i after that all you gotta do is start a bfs from max node and that's all since uh, bfs would actually print all of the uh, mst edges now uh, let's create bfs source node now you know how what we do here we create a queue of int q we insert q uh, we insert source node into the queue we mark source node as visited now after that while queue is not empty we run a loop each time we take the front element current node is equals to uh, q dot front front element and we remove it from the front element after that uh, in the adjacency list of in this current node if if this child is not visited if it's not visited this is we are going to insert it into the queue we are going to ma mark it as visited and also we are going to print this edge this edge or uh, this edge means the edge between the current node and this child and that's all i think so we don't we should not get any error okay Okay, till now everything's going fine yeah uh, dot size okay I think that's the only error just let's see whether it works for this for the first test case or oh, last one three two three five three four three two three five three four and two one yeah it is working let's say, simply submit it submit and let's see whether it works hmm. this should work testing nothing on test case one okay this is a progress running on task come on usually code forces works really fast they have to be some process going on behind man the scene okay we got an ac so this was how you solve this uh did three f1 problem uh using bfs so if you have any query or doubt just uh post into the comments so thank you guys for watching and yep keep coding thank you